And yes, we've been flamingoed. Hey, welcome to a new episode. Today we are doing the Tokyo rig. Uh, just simple, easy to do rig. Uh, it won't take long. Here we go. All right, so the equipment you're gonna need is a lead weight, some wire. This is stainless steel leader wire, 0 0.024 of an inch or 0 0.022, somewhere around there. Uh, the other thing you're gonna need is a hook, uh, some worm hook of some sort where you can rig it weedless. That's what I prefer. You will need a swivel. Tiny swivel. Um, I'm using a bead. And the last thing you'll need is a split ring. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off by painting this weight real quick because I like my weights painted. Remember to shake your powder coat or use a fluid bed on the two. <laughs> Get the heat gun going here. We're gonna heat this for a couple minutes just to get it nice and hot all the way through. Uh, the heat gun's on the low setting, it has a high and a low on this one. Uh, low setting seems to be perfect for powder coats. Alright, it's been on there for a little bit, so we're gonna dip it in the powder coat. Knock off all the excess. excess. Set the good coat. Back on the heat. The second heat is just to kind of clean up the powder coat and help it to adhere a lot better. There we go. Loop. Back down. And we're just going to twist around. Okay, that's good. Cut off that extra as close as we can. All right, we're going to straighten this up a little. There we go. All right, so now we're going to going to work with this swivel or the eh, the split ring here. All right, the split ring. I have split ring pliers because it's way easier. Sometimes, first thing we're going to put on is the swivel. Swivel's on. Alright. Next thing we're going to put on is the wire. Here we go. Alright, and last thing. Oops, the wire came off. Okay, last thing. We're going to put on the worm hook and you want your worm hook positioned just like you're going to have it on the bait. Come on. This is the hardest part right here. <laughs> there you go. Spin that over. Alright. And now we're going to Run the split ring through. Way easier to do it all at once. And that is basically the Tokyo rig. So you would tie your line up here. Now the only difference is you got to finish it off. And this is where 
you can do whatever you want. I'm using a glass bead for noise. And then my bullet weight. Slide that on. Hear that? That's why I'm using the bullet weight. Um, now, this is too long. You can adjust it to different sizes that you want. That's the nice thing about making your own. You don't want it too terribly long. These are pretty short. So I'm going to cut it, cut it back just a bit. And then what I'm going to do with that end, is just make a real small circle. You want it to be closed up nice and tight. Hit nice and tight. Hit. Can't talk today. All right. The reason why you want it to meet up with the wire again is so it doesn't get caught as easy. But there we go. This is the Tokyo rig. Now, what you would do with this is you would put a worm on it, and um, what happens is the weight either sits on the bottom or punches through the mud. You can't see that. There we go. <laughs> it sits on the bottom or it punches through the mud. And um, it basically keeps your hook off the bottom. And you can use it with a kind of a semi-slack line. Where you're just keeping a little tension on it. And like I said, that keeps the, the lure off the bottom. Um, makes it A, easier for the bass to see. And B, easier for the bass to eat. So, so that's the advantage of this. The other advantage is... Hear that bead? Get a little bit of rattle with it. Um, now you can go with a lot heavier weight and this becomes a punching lure and what happens uh, a lot of times uh, I know the people I watch say they put two bullet weights on one on one go in each direction basically one point down and one point up um, that allows it to punch through really heavy grass and really heavy lily pads and uh, really heavy structure and you can fish it that way as well. But that, that is the Tokyo Rig. We're going to give it a whirl. Um, I'm going to be fishing some ponds coming up uh, shortly, and I wanted something like that for fishing with the pond. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you use it, and I'll see you on the next video.